everyone. So I think it's going to be a bit hard after that really uh, funny talk. But hey, let's do this. So my name is Nicholas Barre. I've been working at Winamax for a year, and I'm going to show you what I've been doing for this past year. So the talk is about how I send Redux action over the network um, across multiple React clients and servers. So first, let's talk about the React app. In a React app, you have components with containers. That's the common pattern we all have been used to. And usually, the component we will, that we call the presentational component will render um, the visual from the state, and the container is handling all the state and logic behind the scene. But as the application grow, we have like the counter app component that we want to share across the application, and we want to share the same state. So we need something like a model container to share that state. That's where um, we introduce usually uh, Redux. But why Redux? Because Redux has all these good qualities that um, we want to exploit. And as the documentation states, it's literally taken from the Redux or the um, landing page. Redux helps you write application that, um, that BF consistently run in different environments and like the client, server, and native, and are easy to test. On top of that, it provides a great developer experience such as live code editing combined with a time traveling debugger. So that's all good properties that we really want to have everywhere. So we choose Redux for the client React application. That's great. But what will we use to share that state across many clients? Why don't we take like the Redux, um, the Redux model but on the server side? So. Uh, I want to introduce you Aqueducts. So Aqueducts is um, the name of the library I've been working on that uh, enable a real-time interconnectivity between all your uh, client applications. Um, let's see together how it managed to send a user Redux action to all clients. So you have your React application and you dispatch an action like increment the counter. This, this action is intercepted by the Agdux middleware and is sent over the socket to the Agdux server. So once the action is received, it is immediately pushed to the Redis, um, to, the, to a Redis queue. So Redis is a database that we use. Uh, and because it, it's a lightning talk, I can go in depth about Redis, but trust me when I say that the action is now persisted and the order is respected. So once Redis uh, receives the action, um, the action is dispatched to all and notified to all Agduc server um, of the application. It can now dispatch it on the server side to the Redux stores that reduces it. And this state that we have reduced here is actually the same state that you are using on the React client. So when a new React client connects to the application, it can just iterate its stores just by getting a snapshot from this state. And just for the story of our um, increment action, it then goes back to the client through the socket, and the middleware just dispatches it again, and it goes to the store, and then React Redux and such libraries can connect your, um, your app tree to update uh, the components. So uh, we actually released it a version on NPM recently, uh, and we are actively um, working uh, on polishing the API. So if you want to give it a try, you can. It's accessible. And uh, it's over GitHub at Winamax slash Agdux. And uh, I made it with my awesome friend and coworker, Shabu. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you.